Community Briars here and in today's YouTube video we're going to be doing my 2023 collection tour. So I realized that in 2022 I didn't do a collection tour at all. I was like I don't think the collection tour is gonna be that wildly different. And then I went to go watch my old collection tour and y'all it was 2021. I have no idea. I thought I did one last year but apparently I lied to myself which is news to me. So here we are. I'm sorry that y'all did not get a collection tour last year. So yes there are going to be some wildly different changes from the 2021 collection tour. I don't have any pony in the mail so we're not waiting on any beans so this is my current collection tour for the time being i'm not gonna keep y'all waiting any longer because we're waiting a whole year for an updated one so without any further ado let's dive right in all right so like always we are going to start out with my main shelving unit and then work our way around i only have my main shelving unit the barn and one stable main shelving unit in my room now but i do have some beans out in my craft room so we'll head out there once we're done with all the ponies in my room what you will notice is that I've actually rearranged quite a bit and now I do display all of my beans by their congas so now it's a little bit easier to see who I have from a collection and it was bothering me that they weren't with their congas which is weird because I used to not enjoy displaying them with their congas so wow look at that evolution of my collection oh also before we jump in I have a ton of halters on my ponies now they don't normally all wear halters but I did give myself a challenge where I wanted to make a halter for every pony in my herd before Briarfest so I'd have plenty of halters to sell during my Briarfest restock so if you see a lot of halters that's why let's dive in so we're gonna start out at the top shelf up here so right there we've got Ezra, Gandalf, Cora, Tatooine and Bugatti. And then we got a Frisian Schlake with two little foals with him. Right here we have Padme and her foal Skywalker. On this shelf over here, this is Sharkbait, Mako, Novacore, and Tilly. Right there we've got Aaron Burr, Tuxedo Junction, and Uncle Iroh. This little Schlake custom is so cute. Turning the corner, we've got Truffles, Stein, Hiccup. I don't remember the name I gave the mare, but I know the foal is Wookiee, and you think I'd be better at this, but I'm not. Oh no! Here we have Bespin and Amon. Also, this little schlake is literally so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Moving down, you're gonna see my bunny squad has grown tremendously. I think I have like 14. They've doubled. Here we have Led Zeppelin, who is a twin design horse bunny with my friend Gabby. Here we have Bear, and her show name is Ursa Major. This is Hella, Peppermint Mocha, Twinkie. This is Naboo. And up in the front, we got Tinker. Turning the corner, we've got Bumper, and his show name is Double Trouble, Kicker, Tempest Shadow. I don't think I gave her a name yet, but we're gonna continue. Wait a second, did I say Naboo? Wait, I've got Naboo over here. Who are you? What? What? Identity crisis! So you're not Naboo. This one right here with the yellow and silver scarf, that's Naboo. Who are you? This is Naga. Right there we've got Chunk. This is South Dakota and Palomo. Finishing out my bunny conga, we've got double stuffed Oreo and Lucky Charms. We all know and love for this bean. This is Chubbs. Here we have Nicholas. I have not gotten around to giving him a new name. Delgado, Princess Alora, and Thor. Scooting on down here, we've got Kylo. Ren, Valkyrie, Kiara, Princess Leia, Athena, and Tony Stark. We've got Miss Coffee and Bean. This is Remy the Rat, and he's got a baguette. Over here, we've got Nuck Tuck, Spotticus, Catcher, and his show name is a Major League, you know, after the real catcher. Alamo, Loverboy Lance, Yorg. This is Fantasia. I've had her since I was a child. She's amazing. Turning the corner, we've got Django Fett, Lotor, Romeo, Swiss Cheese, and Parzival. She's so pretty. Scooting on down here. Didn't I give you a name? Probably not. This is Hunter. Right here we have Thunder. This is Rico and Skizzy Mars. Right there is Achilles. Turning the corner, we've got Maple Syrup, Zorro, Shadow Chaser, and Milo. Right here is Chicken Nugget, Playboy. And then up in the front, we've got a llama and two alpacas. Every collection tour I do with these guys, I can never remember their names. Over here, we've got 
one of my Christmas ponies that I bought myself. This is Ahsoka, Moonshine, Anakin Skywalker, this is Napoleon, Princess Yue, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Moving down here, we've got my Ethereal Kanga. In the back, we've got Bethlehem, but if you watch Castles and Cobbs, we know and love him as Rourke. Bolin, Zuko, Hermes, Apollo! His show name's Mission Apollo, King Bean, love him. I think I need to make him a new flower crown, but we stand. Sokka and Aang. And then right here we got Bobita, Bob's wife. Here we have Firefly and Hawkeye. Gotta change their names too. I'll get to it at one point, right guys? Don't let me lie to myself. Scooting on over here, we've got Boo Berry. I still am obsessed with this guy. His face marking. Millennium Falcon, Hagen dazs a conga full of troublemakers. We got Hades, Pandora, Eros, Cookies and Cream, and Sam Whitehoof. Y'all, we found him. Don't worry, he's not actually missing. He's right here. And then in the front, we've got Glenn and his mom, Carol. Moving over here, we got my Peter Stone Morgan conga. Right back there is Reaper, and his show name is Dust Lord. I think that's funny because he gets a lot of dust, so I'm hilarious. Thank you. Here we have Genji, but again, if you watch Castles and Cops. He plays Prime Minister Asher and he's just one of my absolute favorite ponies in my herd. We've got Zero the Hut, next to him is Twix, and then from there we got Wooly, Nalo, who's actually a mare, but it's fine. Like, she'll play a stallion, it's okay. And then Astro. Oh my gosh, we're almost done! Ah! Right here we've got King Arthur next to my matte version of Pyro, who is also the brindled bandit. Right here we have Altea. This is Camino. I know his briar name is Cardinal, so we'll go with that. Nitro Circus. As we turn the corner, we get to part of the Ish Conga. It also goes over there. Right here we have Indiana Jones, but again, if you watch Castles and Cobbs, he plays Alton, and Alton is one of my favorite characters. Darth Maul, Ninja, Captain Kenway. Rowan with his beautiful little mustache, Sith, and Captain Rex. In this little cube right here, we've got Jin Erso and Ewok. All right, we're gonna our way over to this shelf. We've got Captain Cody. This is another one that I bought myself for Christmas. This is Milk after one of my Star Stable horses, and Milk, Oreo, and Cookies and Cream all form an adorable family. Here we have Antake, Turtle, Janora, and Milo. Right here, this is Major and his full lieutenant. Over here, we've got Wrecker and Kathwari. All right, y'all, we have one row left on the main shelving unit. I don't remember if I gave this guy a name yet. There were a lot that I was trying to get around to and then I just couldn't think of names or I just kind of gave up there for a bit with coming up with names. So we'll name a bunch of them eventually. We've got this guy from Briarfest 2022. Here we have Sanders and his beautiful Pokeball halter set. Here we have the Rhenish Draft from Briarfest last year. This is Winnie the Pooh and Appa. This is Sassy Bean. Look how unhappy he is very sassy. In this cube over here, I can't remember if I gave either of these guys names, so we'll just enjoy their beautiful lime green halters. All right, these are the two schlakes on this shelf right here, a little mare in full, super adorable. Right here, we've got Hondo, Pidge, whose show name is the Green Paladin, Han Solo, Omega, Spitfire, and Andromeda. And then turning the corner to the very last shelf on this shelving unit, we got my Warm Blood Stallion Conga, and this is Kovu, Tucker, we've got Varric, but if you watch Castles and Cobbs again, this is Hawks, Athens, Iceman, and Butter. And then to finish us off, we've got this super fancy little Schlake Pegasus. All right, so that's gonna finish off the main shelving unit, but wait, there's more. In the barn, which actually did get cleaned up a little bit, so it does look better, and they got new lights. Look how cute these are. I found these at Hobby Lobby, so like I highly recommend picking them up because they are so fancy. We've got Jedi and Loki. Now, I have actually done some upgrades to their barns. Like I 3D printed them some bridal racks, and then they've got automatic waterers. Like I said, I cleaned up and gave them new lights. It just looks so much better. Up top, we do have some mini winnies, and then Dr. Spot's got moved to the top now so he's easier to see. So we've got Dr. Spots, May, and their little tiny minion who is so hard to see, but he is there, I promise. And then there's one hiding back there. And then lastly in my room, I do only have one stable mate shelving unit right now, just because I wasn't sure if I wanted to hang the other one up. I kind of wanted to have my room a little bit more minimalistic. So here we have the stable mates that are out right now. I do have the other ones still, they're just in a box. Not everybody has a name, so we're just gonna get an 
overview. If y'all want to know where I got this shelving unit from, it's actually a shot glass shelving unit from Etsy and they've got a ton of different variations. Highly recommend them. They are the perfect size for stable mates and they just hang up on your wall so your ponies can be on display and look fabulous. I am in the stable mate club for next year, which is kind of unfortunate because I really don't have room on the shelving unit. So I might hang the other one up. I'm just not entirely sure yet. All right. So that concludes all of the beans from my room. And now we got to head to the craft room so that y'all can see those ponies. And then that'll conclude the collection tour. Let's go. All right, so one of the biggest changes in this entire collection tour is the fact that I now have a pretty big shelving unit out in my craft room. So I've got some beans on this side. I got some beans over here. I got a bean on my desk who's a helper bean. Wow. We're gonna start out over here and then work our way around. Let's dive in. All right, up top we've got Jupiter next to Azula. This is Henry. If you ever order a Schlick horse halter that is in the horse size, he's the one that helps me make them. So he's a little beat up, but he's a great helper bean. And then over here, we've got Kessel Run next to another little Schlick. Moving down here, we have Star Lord, Astrid, Rapunzel, and Venus. And then right there, we've got General Hux. This little Schlick is so cute. All right, moving on over to the first few ponies in my glass cabinet. This is brand new. I wanted a glass cabinet so I could keep my more expensive beans in there. Maybe I'll just have to open it. It's a little shiny. So this is everybody in the glass cabinet with the doors open. I did not give this girl a name yet, but she is my volunteer model. The one that I kept, I ended up selling the other one because I didn't see the need for two of them. She is so pretty and she's sporting my VIP bracelet from Briar Fest last year. This is Berries and Cream, my little custom that I did an unboxing for. He's so cute. And then next to them, sharing the shelf, we've got Winter Wonderland. On the last top shelf, we've got Cassie and Andor. This is Janora's mom. She literally doesn't have a name. Next to her is Miss Grace Simmons. And this little bean does not have a name yet. My only collector. The shelf below them actually doesn't have any ponies on it, but the shelf does. These two are actually horses that I've been able to design for Peter Stone during the Art of the Horse event. So right here, we've got Catcher. This is my glossy catcher and he's got a little reserve champion ribbon. Up in the front, this is Silver Charm, but he looks like catcher, so he gets to stand with him. And then right here, this is the Brindled Bandit, but his regular name is just Pyro and he's the one that I got a design for last year's Equilocity. Moving down to this shelf right here, we've got Asgard. I changed this guy's name because I didn't like his name being Ezio, but I don't remember what his name was, so we're gonna call him Ezio again, cool. Here we have Hoth. Oh, did I give these two names? I don't remember. Some little cows because cows are so cute. Oh, wow. I skipped the shelf. Okay. Um, what is happening? In the glass cabinet here, we have UNSC Infinity, which is the glossy version of Apollo. I think there's only like 45 of him that exist, which is crazy. Here we have Suki jumping over my infinity jump, which now has roll tops because if y'all didn't know, I now 3D print jump pieces. We're a little out of order here, but we're going to scoot over to the shelf really fast. That's Chadwick. I have not had a chance to give him a name yet. Here we have Lakota, Londi and Bastille, Luke Skywalker, and Confetti Queen, who we all know as Polaris. Sorry, I'm trying to like make this not confusing, but we're gonna go over here now. Here we have Uni and her cult book of fellows. Right here we have the Bewildered Beast, who my sister actually bought me him and he's so cool. Over here we have S'mores, Steve Rogers, and Donuts with KFC. See the best cow ever. And some more cows, because you can never have too many cows. Scooting on to this shelf, we've got Acer and Toast. A little German riding pony. Halo, Gingy, Church, and Zipped in Black Magic. This is the bean I got for Christmas. His name is Blitzen and he's so fancy. The Christmas ponies are always gorgeous. This is my Christmas day surprise that I got during that sale. I really wanted the purple, but I ended up with the green and he's like low key kind of cute. So he's gonna hang for a little bit before I decide his fate. But for now, his name is Green Bean. And then next to him, I really don't remember this guy's name. Was it Narnia? That's a really good 
question. Next, right here we have my newest bean, Crosshair. He was my first pony of 2023. Here we have Aslan, this is Katara, BB-8, and Avatar. All right, we're almost done with the shelving unit, don't worry. Here we have Maverick and my Catcher Custom. And then on the very last shelf for the main shelving unit out here, we've got my Brahms, Bucky, PJ, Toph, and Blizzard. Also, this draft horse is so cute. All right, well that finishes up that shelving unit. Now we gotta head on to the shelving units over here. So this is where I store a lot of my craft supplies so I don't have too many ponies over here. But up top we got Skittles and his show name is Taste the Rainbow. This is Snowflake, Misty, and Stormy. On this shelf down here, we've got part of my Cleveland Bay conga. Thanks Briarfest, you're really hitting us with those surprise congas, so no. This is Red Velvet, this guy doesn't have a name, Leroy Jenkins. And Officer Ollie. Over on this side, we've got Abacus, Caboose, Nacho Libre, Baby Misty and Phantom, Sarge. Snow leopards are one of my favorite animals, so I had to get the snow leopard schlake. My glossy surprise pony, Captain Nyx. And I don't think I ever gave this guy a name. Over here, I have Jelly Bean. And then on my desk, the one who helps me make all the generically sized tag, this is Tachella. All right, well, that is everybody in the craft room. All right, y'all. So that's actually going to be the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please remember to slap that like button as hard as you possibly can show this YouTube video and all of my beans a little bit of loaf. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I don't post on there daily right now. I'm really trying to get back to that, but I am super active on there. So if you shoot me a message, I will respond as quickly as I can. If you're interested in any of the halters, they will all be for sale during my Briar Fest 2023 restock on my website. There are going to be a lot more than what you see because I have to finish my challenge, which I was hoping to finish before Briar Fest, but now I'm kind of hoping to finish it before the end of January, so we'll see, we'll see. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll keep you updated on that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. Feel free to comment in the comment section down below who your favorite of all of my beans is because I'd like to know, you know? I wanna know who y'all loaf so you can see more of them, obviously. I should probably work on Castles and Cops episode five because yeah, yeah, I haven't done that yet, but it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna get there. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye!